trying to eat healthy and stuff. But it's my cheat day. So I'm gonna have breakfast at IHOP. Breakfast is served. Stuffed French toast, egg whites and cheese, turkey bacon, orange juice, and water. And yummy! Hey everybody, I'm here at the IHOP eating my breakfast. I still got this to finish, <laughs> but I ate my egg whites and my turkey bacon. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit. I got some feedback that I kind of want to discuss. Um, the first comment that I'm talking about is from Raven Scott. She says, girl, I wish I could wake up at 530 in the morning and still go through my day as positive as you are. Keep slaying. You're doing your thing. Well, I want to say thank you so much. But girl, it did not start like that. Like, uh, I used to, well, I can be mean and like just be so disrespectful but I'm trying to change my ways of course life is all about evolution so I did a whole bunch of praying and just like I read different books I listen to a lot of audiobooks when I'm on the road I'm just not you know listening to my music no I listen to a lot of audiobooks and just learn new things one of the audiobooks that I love to listen to which is my favorite it helped me a lot especially with my relationship to money um it's called um, You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. That really is an eye-opener. And if you don't like to read, you can just watch it on YouTube, the audio book. You can just search it in the search box and it'll come up. You Are a Badass at Making Money. It helped me a lot. And then another audio book that I just started, I think I'm on Chapter 4. Um, it's from Lisa Nichols. And it's called Abundance Now. Oh my gosh. It's filled with a bunch of just facts, goodies, affirmations, new ways of thinking to change your mindset. It's just, it helped me a lot. I actually um, am subscribed to her on her YouTube channel. And she just, she's an, um, she went from welfare to Wall Street. Just the kind of things that I want to accomplish. And she gives a lot of good facts. It's very informational, it's very informative, it's very just, you know, it helps me, help me change my attitude, give me that positive, that positivity that I need, and, you know, I learn a lot from her. And I also listen to a lot of motivational videos in the morning, so that helps me get going and just, you know, remind me of what I'm doing it for. And I write down my goals every day. I try to, and I go over lists of what I'm thankful for, what I'm grateful for. You know, I'm grateful for my family. And I do a lot of affirmations. I do a lot of I am affirmations. Like, I am beautiful. I am worthy of love. I am, you know, inspirational. I do that every day, every day, all throughout the day and just say thank you thank you thank you because i am grateful i am humble and that you know that gets me going that makes me want to do better that makes me want to change my old ways and i change my self-talk like i don't look in the mirror and just be like uh i'm fat like uh i can't fit the shirt i'm so fat i don't do that anymore i try not to but you know self-talk is just our mind just wonders every day so 
but I try not to do that that negative self talk. I try to change that. So that's how I'm able to like you know get up 5:30 in the morning because I know my goal weight out here I've gained a lot of weight I haven't been eating how I should but now that I have a refrigerator I'm going to change that so I've got all healthy stuff in my refrigerator you can see from my other video that I did now I also want to touch up on another comment that I got was from Luca Blight he said um Tumpa truck driving school don't do pickups question mark my hoop do won't make it there so I would say you can call and speak to them, speak to a recruiter, tell them your situation, ask for help. I was having transportation troubles. I told them everything that was going on. They have a housing program and I was able to stay in their housing um, and they pick you up in the morning and drop you back off in the afternoon or whoever has a car that's staying in the housing could take you back. So that's my journey. That's what I did. I called and I told them. I. You know, I ask for help, but there's other options. You can Uber, you can Lyft, you can get in the taxi cab, you can get on the bus, you know, no excuses, you know, just adjustments. Because if you get your CDLs, the next thing you know, you'll be driving a city bus. Put your pride to the side and just, you know, do what you gotta do if that's what you want to do. You gotta be mind strong. Like, don't let life tell you no. Like, no to me just means new opportunity. So be a friend of no, be kind to no, you know, be thankful of no, be appreciative of no. One man's rejection is God's protection. Remember that. So I just want to come and talk to y'all while I'm eating my breakfast. I will talk to you guys later. I don't want this video to be too long. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.